Hi everybody, my name is Rosemary King and I am so grateful that you are joining me today for day two of healing yourself from the inside out challenge. And today we're going to talk about forgiveness. Now you might be thinking, what does forgiveness have to do with healing myself? Aren't you going to teach me how to do yoga and meditate? Well, I am going to share with you about yoga and meditation later on in the month, but right now, in order to get started, the most important thing for us to do is start with inside of ourselves, healing ourselves from all the destruction that is going on inside right now emotionally. And one way to do that is by healing ourselves through forgiveness. In 2011, I came across Denise Duffield Thomas's meditation um, series that she had that she was selling that year. And in one of her um, manifestation and meditation series that she was selling was the practice of forgiveness. And it's a Hawaiian uh, practice that she had mentioned, and it's called Ho'opono Pono. And it basically means to make right. And it's a simple four-step process that you take, and it allows you to release all this harboring feelings that you have from within. Now, when you hold on to pain, anger, and suffering, whether it's physical, emotional, or words spoken to you, or whatever, uh, you kind of wear it as a badge of honor. And when you do that, you take on this role of always carrying it around with you. And when you carry it around with you, sometimes it starts to manifest into other things. And what it starts to manifest into, you no longer need or want right now. And so this is what we're going to try and reverse through this forgiveness exercise. So when you hold on to your suffering and pain, it's not honorable. It just keeps you from being able to move on. And it'll hold you back from where it is that you need to be in your life. So in order to self-heal, you need to start learning how to self-love, and that starts with forgiveness. So without this process, you're going to continue this cycle of pain and hurt and emotional baggage that isn't going to help you achieve your highest good. So this Hawaiian um, reconciliation tradition calls for four steps of forgiveness. And um, traditionally it states that an illness is a result of breaking spiritual laws. And this simple process will walk you through releasing what it is that you've been holding on to so that you can set an intention to forgive so that you're free from being able to hold on to those past hurts whether they're your own doing or not, and releasing them so that you can move on in your life. So if you want, you can do this variety of ways. You can set yourself up with a little, um, little altar if you want, with little candles, incense, essential oils, whatever it is that you want to include, you can do so to make the space something that is going to be inviting and warm and safe. Because when you feel safe, you're going to be able to let go of these feelings a little bit more readily. You may also want to put on a little bit of meditative music. You're gonna to wanna to think about your past, who you have hurt, who has hurt you, and let those feelings come up. You're gonna start writing down in either a journal or just loose leaf paper everything that you remember starting from the earliest age. Now when you do this and you reflect back, it's going to take several minutes. Sometimes it might take several hours. So set aside some time to do this. If you can't get it done all in one setting, that's okay. Get done what you can and continue on the next day. The whole point of this challenge is to start small. So if you can only devote a few minutes a day, start there and just keep plugging these practices in every single day. And it doesn't matter how insignificant whatever it is you're feeling, whatever happened to you or whatever you did to somebody, it's important that you include it because everything, when you add it all up, starts to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And when you 
get everything out in the open, no matter how small, you're going to be able to break it apart more easily and release it all together. So the four simple steps that you say are, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, and thank you. And basically what you do, you're saying you're sorry for any of the wrongs that you've done, and you're also apologizing for the wrongs that have happened to you. When you say that you love your, I love you, you're letting yourself know that you have enough love in your own self emotionally that you can release the bonds that are holding you back so that you can move forward in love and light. When you ask for forgiveness, please forgive me, you're asking the universe to forgive you. You're asking the person who've wronged you and you're also asking forgiveness of yourself. When you say your thank you, you're showing gratitude for seeing the error of your way, the lessons that the situation has brought to you, and or allowing the universe for giving you the opportunity to be forgiven. So all of these together, I love you, please forgive me, thank you, or I'm sorry and thank you, are going to really give you what it is that you need to start healing from the inside out. Now it's important to note that while you personally don't have to be in the presence of others to tell them that you're sorry for doing wrong to them, if you are feeling up to the challenge, it is definitely good to reach out to that individual and say, hey, you know, when I said those things to you the other day or whatever it is, and you apologize, what can I do to make it right? You're offering up a peace offering and you're allowing that person to reciprocate at the same time. You don't have to, but it definitely does help. Admitting any time when you make a mistake is going to release you of any harboring guilt that you may have residing within. So um, the three components that you want to try and remember anytime that you do a personal apology to somebody is make sure it's heartfelt sorry. Make sure you speak it from your heart or write it out if you don't want to do it in person. Admit your mistake and the possible hurt that you have caused. You say, I know that what I said was hurtful and I'm sorry it caused you pain. I'm sorry it made you feel bad or have any resentment of whatever feeling you may be experiencing. So admit your mistake and any possible hurt that you may have caused. And then ask how you can correct the situation in the future so that you're not doing it again. Part of forgiveness is learning not to make those same mistakes over and over and over again. And when you do that, you'll find that you are not making these same mistakes over again. You, you've learned your lesson so that the universe isn't bringing them to you anymore. So skipping the last two could mean that the person won't be able to move on from what you've done to them. So be mindful that although as painful as it may be, reaching out to somebody and sharing your and expressing your sorrow and asking for forgiveness is a way that all of you in that situation can move forward. And I know for a lot of people, they feel like, I really wish this person would take the time to apologize. That's all I want is just an apology. And sometimes that's all they need. They just need the simple apology. And so when you do that, you're giving them the opportunity to say, thank you for saying that what you did was wrong. Thank you for admitting that. Because it takes a lot of courage and a lot of guts to say that you are wrong. So I hope that you enjoyed this and the best way to stay in a state of love, peace, and joy is to practice forgiveness regularly. This could be weekly or monthly or some other frequency that fits within your schedule, but it should be practiced regularly and no more than a few months out at a time. If you start to feel sluggish or you start getting sick, it may be time to start your forgiveness exercise again. So I hope you enjoyed this little series, our first challenge today. 
or our first second challenge of our healing yourself from within and if you enjoyed leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you tomorrow for day three bye